Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is on reading numbers through the millions period. The goal today is that if your teacher were to ask you to read a number like the one you see at the bottom of the screen, that you would be able to read it correctly. Millions refers to the largest period that we'll be doing for this lesson today. So the main idea is that you read numbers in groups of three and say the name of each period. So we already have the millions period for this number, then the thousands period in the middle, and the ones period at the very end of the number. So if we split that up, you would read the millions period as 635 million. The thousands would be 805,000, and the ones period would be 412, and you do not say the name of the ones period. Together, it would be 600, 35,805,412. This lesson will talk about how to read three digits, three rules, we'll practice some different kinds of numbers, and solve a couple of problems. So numbers are organized into groups of three. Each group of three is called a period. So we'll bring our periods back in. Let's split them up. And each period is made up of three place values ones, tens, and hundreds. And that's true for your thousands period and your millions period. You say the word hundred after reading the digit in the hundreds place value. So let me show you that one. So in the millions, that would be 600. Then the digits in the tens and ones place value, in this case the three five, you just read as one number. So that's 35, just like you would read 35 on a hundreds chart. So that number is 635 million. In the thousands period, it would be 805. And in the ones period, 412. All right, just look at it from another angle. That would be 412. If we take that same number and slide it over into our thousands, it would be 412 thousand. Now the question is, how do you know if it's the thousands period or ones or millions? And that's where the number of commas that you see and the number of digits that follow uh, help you to know which period that you're in. And this would be 412 million. Okay, try another one. That would just be 37, 37,000, 37 million based upon where we read the number, what period. Let's try one more. Four, 4,000, 4 million. Okay, we'll talk about three rules. Our first rule is that you just read from left to right. Well, that's easy. Second rule is that we just read the number in each period. So we're really just reading three separate numbers for a large number. And then we say the name of each period except our ones period at the, at the end of the number. Now the question is, how do you know when to say the name of the period? The comma marks the end of each period. So for example, in your millions, you would say 26, and the comma lets you know that that's the end of the millions period, and that's where you would say million. In the thousands, you would say 107, and the comma lets you know that's the end of the period, and you would say thousand when you see that. Remember, in our ones, we do not say the name of the period. All right, so this would be 26,107,359. All right, let's practice a little bit. All right, this one would be 400,705,569. We're not going to say anything for the ones period, okay? This would be 95,327,000. We'll skip over that thousands period, right? Okay. 814,264. And we're going to skip both the thousands and ones period. We're just going to read the 10. So this is simply 10 million. And one more. 34,065. 
All right, let's do a couple problems. What is this number expressed in standard form? Remember, standard form is just a regular way of showing a number. 835,000. 81. That's in word form. So the first thing we want to do is look for that comma. That lets you know where your thousands period is and then where your ones period is. Okay, so we'll start with our thousands period. 835,000 using the rules we talked about today would look like that. In our ones period we have 81. That would be 81. When we bring them together, does that look right? we said that numbers come in groups of three and that ones period should have a zero there so if we look at it on a place value chart notice that it does not say uh, 800 it just says 81 so we need to slide that 81 over and put in a zero and so our answer would be D 835,081 how is the number written in words. And this time we're going to find our answer in word form. Okay, so we'll start with our 41. That would be 41 million. When I look at the answers for A, B, C, and D, I notice that B is 14 million, so we can get rid of that one. Let's look at our middle section. That is 968,000. When I look at my answers, I notice that answer C does say 968, but it does not say 1,000 like we're supposed to, so we can get rid of C. And finally, the 43 should just say 43. So when I look at A and D, I notice that D has 403, and we're not supposed to have any 100 in that number, so our answer would be A, 41,968,043. All right, well, thanks for watching today, and I hope this was helpful, and we hope to see you on the next one.